This is a product video for TechReps Mirror Chrome, and here are the details. Product number CHM01E, film type, hybrid vinyl film, thickness 11mm, adhesive, Henkel solvent based, roll width 60 inches, and here are the roll lengths, warranty 1-2 to two years depending on zone, and it comes in 15 colors. Getting a vehicle ready for wrapping involves a focus prep that includes hardware removals and a set cleaning protocol. Hardware removals should always be done first. For emblems, using the pod steamer can be very effective for softening the double-sided tape. For raised objects like door handles, emblems, mirrors, and other raised objects, they should be removed as well. Be sure to place the vehicle on race ramps or a lift and then begin the cleaning process. The first step is to do a general clean to remove the dirt. Next, clay bar the surface to make it optimally smooth. Always be sure to use high quality microfiber towels to absorb the most moisture. The final step is to degrease the surface and put an extra focus on the edges to help ensure long-term durability. Next, take measurements of all the sections on the vehicle. This will help save material and increase workflow on the install. On the outside of the box is important product information, including a color swatch of the mirror chrome. Inside the box is an aftercare tab for the customer. Always wipe the work table before rolling the material out, and the box can be used as a dispenser for the mirror chrome. For bumpers, fold the panel in half, and this will cover both front and back with one panel. Be sure to clearly label the panels, and working with two people will help keep the chrome from getting wrinkles during this process. For install, prop open sections when possible and lower surface energy outside the wrap area with masking tape. Be sure to replace the old buffer with a new one to help maintain a pristine mirror chrome finish. With the prep complete, it's now time for install. The workspace temperature should be between 60 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Lay the panel carefully on the section and release the liner partway. Double check that the panel fits left to right, top to bottom, then lock it in place with a permanent hinge. This means squeegeeing from side to side on the flat area. Once set, work the film towards the sides in overlapping squeegee strokes. These scratches are not a problem. You'll see why in a second. Continue squeegeeing until wrinkles start to form, and this means it's time to remove the cap sheet. The cap sheet should be kept on for the flat sections and removed for the curves. All those scratches are now in the trash, and the mirror chrome finish pristine. With the cap sheet off, now spray the buffers with a glide solution to minimize scratching, then continue to work the wrinkles away from the center. The freehand can help shift the film to the edge by pulling in the right tension. When necessary, apply light heat to soften the film towards the edge. Do the shimmy technique to even out the tension. Once on the edge, it's critical to form the film all the way under, wrinkle-free. First, warm the film, then run a finger on the edge. Trigger the memory effect when necessary, then round it. Corners require extra focus due to the thickness of the film and that it is calendar. Trigger the memory effect to conform it to the corner, then shift the tension with minor tweaks of a squeegee and tucking tool. Fingers or tweezers can be very useful in setting the film up. With the corner set, form the film on the flat edges outside the corner, then cut the corner roughly one inch on either side. With the corner set, the sides can be cut, in this case, on the side of the hood with the blade facing away. This is called an empty cut two, and it avoids getting too many wrinkles on the other side. Carefully remove the excess film and put it immediately in the trash, then go over all the edges with heat to seal the deal. Before going on to the next section, go over the surface with a steamer to activate the adhesive and to remove scratches and fingerprints. Wipe the moisture away with a soft microfiber towel. For sections that cannot be opened, like on this front fender, a good tip is to run 3M precision line on the opposite edge. The wire of the precision line cuts mirror chrome cleanly, while other knifeless tapes do not. Be sure to have a big enough panel especially when stretching it on a curve. Cut away the excess film with the liner on to save for other areas on the vehicle. And it's always a good idea to work with at least two to three other installers and have a clear game plan before releasing the liner. 
With the liner released, lock it on the 50-50 mark, in this case on a body line, and make any necessary relief cuts. Always be sure to make an enclosed relief cut around the front headlight. This will help keep the film from splitting. Now remove the cap sheet because there's curves on all sides. And now warm the film. In this case, it's being done with the pod steamer. This safely softens the film so it can be set wrinkle-free onto the surface. The key is to pull evenly and in the right direction. On tricky sections, like this upper portion on the fender, using key relief cuts can help relax the film to the surface without overstretching or having to use heat. This will help maintain the pristine chrome finish. For wheel oil areas, make key relief cuts at either corner, then once set, round the film towards the underside using an application glove. The key is to use a combination of heat, an application glove, and making relief cuts after it's been on the surface, then cut the film flushly to the side. For the outside edges, release the knifeless tape and tuck the film around the edge. For door handles with moderate to severe curves, it's recommended to wrap them in two to three pieces. Using either 3M precision line or trim line tape, the overlap for the pieces can be placed on key body lines. This will help the overlap blend into the door handle and Wrapping them in multiple pieces will help ensure long-term durability and, if done correctly, will look like it's one piece. On edges that have severe curves, like on the side of this door, the mirror chrome will tend to bunch up due to the properties of the film and thickness. When possible, trim the excess film away, then place a thin strip of either mold and hold or edge seal tape in place to hold it. For bumpers, it's key to heat a wide area but keep the heat gun at a medium setting. High heat can cause blemishes on the face of the film. It's also key to use at least two to three installers who know how to read the wrinkles. And when pulling the film, the installers need to pull very hard once the film is moderately warm. When bumpers have steep angles and deep recessed areas, inlays and overlays should be used. Using trim line or knifeless tape is key to avoid cutting directly on the surface. Whether it's an inlay or an overlay depends on the stretch and direction of the overlap. For under the bumpers, avoid overwrapping these areas. Take the material under roughly one centimeter or a quarter of an inch, then cut the excess film away and feel the edge to ensure that it's 100% smooth and put edge seal tape on at the very end. With the install complete, it's critical that installers post heat. The post heating temperature is 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 95 Celsius and should be done on all edges. This is due to the thickness of the film and that it is a multi layered calendar film. With the post heating complete, the hardware can be reinstalled. Be sure to do this carefully to avoid damaging the mirror chrome finish. Always place the aftercare form on the rear view mirror for the customer and dispose of the waste with the environment in mind. Recycle the cap sheets and roll the backing paper up in one roll to minimize waste in the landfill. Maximum adhesion will occur after 24 hours and aftercare products should be used to maintain the mirror chrome finish. Be sure that these products are safe for vinyl and they can include ceramic coatings, though these may change the color and hue of the final film. So keep this in mind. For more information on TechRap Mirror Chrome, you can go to techwrap.com. By clicking on this dedicated page, you can see all 15 colors as well as more product information. You can also contact customer support and look for local distributors. You can also follow TechRap on Instagram and Facebook to see new products and to get more information. This has been a product video for TechRap's Mirror Chrome, proudly produced by the Rap Institute.